we've ignored the mode a little bit. So now I want to spend a little bit of time just talking about the mode for a second. Now, the mode, remember, is the most frequent data point, right? That's what makes it a mode. It's most frequent. All right, so look at the first data set. What's the mode? Well, there isn't one, right? So none. Or if you like, you can think of all of them. Either way, it's kind of trivial, right? All right, so this particular data set has one and three as its mode. Hmm. So that's something called bimodal. Bi, of course, meaning two. It's the prefix for two. So, or prefix for two. So one and three. Now let's find the mode birth country for the Detroit Red Wings players. So here are the countries of birth for the 2019-20 roster of players on the Detroit Red Wings, which is a hockey team in Detroit, Michigan. And the country of birth, the mode, is Canada. Good to know, right? It is Canadian sport, right? All right, so let's talk about some disadvantages. Mode has some significant disadvantages. So you can have no mode, right? It is possible. Matter of fact, it happens pretty frequently with continuous data sets, for example. Um, continuous data sets generally have no mode because there's decimal places. And so no two are going to be exactly like All right, but you can also have two modes, as we saw up above. Three modes, four modes, right, technically. I mean, all of those things are possible. So you'd have two modes, three modes, four modes, right? Um, the mode might not be at the center at all. Think about our um, pet data. Our pet data, the mode was zero, which was not really a fair representation of the center of our data set, right? Not even close. And the TI-84 calculator does not find it, which is terrible. So you have to just kind of look for it. <laughs> Now that said, that's one of the advantages of, to, of mode. It's actually pretty easy to find by hand. I mean, especially if it's in a bar chart like this. So it's not too difficult. StatCrunch will find it. Right, when you, when you find your statistics for a column, um, StatCrunch will find it. So I was once in a meeting with um, some math professors, they'll remain nameless, and they turned to me and they said, yeah, mode is so terrible because of all these disadvantages. Why do we teach mode? Why do we do it? And I said, well, there's one main reason, and it's this example right here with the, with the hockey, not because it's hockey. Um, it's the only method of center we have available to us for qualitative data. See those? Um, that horizontal axis, that's the country of origin. That's qualitative data that we are gathering here, right? So the country of birth. So the real big advantage, the, the real reason we have to know it is it's the only method of center or measure of center or average. available to us when the data are qualitative. Or if you remember, um, we learned nominal, same thing, right? Qualitative or nominal. If they're words, you don't have any choice. You can't find the median of words. You can't find the, the mean of words. It's not like we can add these up and divide. It doesn't work like that. The only measure of center or average that we have available to us is mode, Canada. That's it. <laughs> this is the only thing we're going to do for this particular problem.